Hi everyone and welcome to week 9 of essay, for, essay Writing for University. So this week we continue our journey into Module 4, Excellent Essays, and you have two focuses this week. One is the Annotated Bibliography, which is Assignment 3, and the other is the Research Essay, which is Assignment 4. And in the work that you do this week, you'll actually be working towards both of those um, assessments. So, you're actually going to be multitasking during week 9. So you need to get your annotated bibliography finished and submitted by Friday of this week. And as you do that and work through um, the set uh, pages of the study guide and the activities, at the same time you'll be making progress towards your research essay. So let's have a look at how that's going to happen. So a few reminders, the annotated bibliography is due this Friday at 11.45pm through a Moodle upload. Make sure that you have followed the instructions as with all the assignments we've done so far, that you've used the supplied template uh, and that you've submitted everything that is required in the assessment. Now if you need to, all the material to um, help you with the annotated bibliography is located in the week 8 Moodle topic, the one before this one. So you can go back and look at that as much as you need to, as many times as you need to. And what you'll also find this week is that material is repeated in uh, your study guide as well. So with regard to the research essay, which is your final piece of assessment for essay writing for university, that's basically what you'll be working on from now until the end of the course. Uh, so it is a substantial piece of assessment. It's worth 50% of your final grade, of your overall grade in this subject. So it is going to take plenty of time and lots of commitment from you from now until the end of the course. It's not something that you can throw together in the last week. Um, if you do do that, uh, you're probably unlikely to do as well as you would like to because it takes um, not only time in terms of the work involved but time for you to think and consider and um, plan your ideas uh, about your response to the topic in the form of an academic essay. So this week as you move towards that final um, final assessment, you're going to be working through activities 4.3, 4.4 and 4.5. And as I've noted there, these are all planning activities, things that you would do um, in the pre-writing phase of preparing an essay, but they're going to assist you greatly in um, the final product that you come up with. So while it might look easy to think, oh, I'll just jump over that, I don't have to submit those activities for my assessment, um, I'll just jump in and start writing an essay, um, you will be far better off if you do work through the activities methodically. We've scaffolded them, scaffolded them in a particular way to help you um, form your essay uh, so that it works really well in an academic format. So let's have a look at what, you, what each of those activities will help you with. So activity 4.3 in the study guide, you complete but you do not have to submit it as part of assignment 4. You'll note that some of these activities in module 4 do have to be submitted with, along with the completed essay, but most of them don't. What this one does though is explain the concept of your essay's thesis statement. Um, which is your overall position in response to the topic. So it gives you some example thesis statements there and it asks you to put down what you think your thesis statement might be based on what you know about the problems that you've chosen to research and that you've read about so far. Um, but just be aware that the thesis statement you write now will be a draft and as you keep moving through module 4, you'll keep returning to your thesis statement and most likely refine it as you go through the next few weeks um, until it really uh, works and um, fits with what the rest of the, the essay that you write is all about. 
Activity 4.4 is also completed but not submitted with assignment 4. Um, the version of the study guide you may be working from might say that to submit it, that you have to submit it. So that's an error. It doesn't need to be submitted. But it does give you, um, when you complete it, a very good basic plan of the body of your essay. So the body of your essay should be four paragraphs, two um, paragraphs will be about one of your selected main ideas that you're researching, one of the problems that the Australian lifestyle has caused for the natural environment, and the other two will be about the other problem. And the activity gives you an example of what um, that plan might look like. You need to look at that example and then apply it to your own chosen problems that you've researched in relation to the topic. And from there, you will move on to activity 4.5, which is also completed but not submitted with assignment 4. And it will build on what you've done in activity 4.4. So you'll have the basic plan of your body paragraphs for the essay. And then activity 4.5 uses the 5W and H questions to help you generate more ideas for your body paragraphs about possible um, aspects of those uh, paragraph topics that you can write about. And what that will also do is give you lots more keywords to use as you search for more resources to um, use for the research for your essay. So to summarise, by the end of this week, assignment three should be submitted and out of the way. And then you should be well into the planning and thinking stage of your research essay. So this is the week, your pre-writing week. From next week, you're actually going to start um, really detailed plans, getting you ready to write the body paragraphs of your essay. And then we will look at how to write an introduction and conclusion. You don't write those things first, the introduction and conclusion when you're writing a research essay, you write them last. And there's a particular reason for that. So at the moment, you should be doing lots of research and starting to firm up your key ideas, the problems and solutions that you're going to focus on in the essay. And you should already have an idea of your take on the topic. So that's your thesis statement, but ready, be ready to keep working with that. Um, and if you haven't gathered this by now, there is going to be um, a lot to do over the next month if you're going to do the best job you possibly can with assignment four. So pay attention to the details in the study guide. Make sure that you ask questions of your lecturer or on the discussion forums on Moodle um, if you're unsure about anything to do with your essay. And we look forward to guiding you through that process of putting together the research essay up until the end of week 12. So have a great week 9.